Hello, stock traders. I hope all of you are having a great week so far. Monday was really fantastic. Tuesday, in my opinion, was terrible. A lot of my picks didn't do very well. But overall, so far this week, up. And I hope all of you are having a, a nice time on the market as well. In the month of October, I'm currently up 3.03% gain. My average is a 10% gain per month. Looking good for a good month. I'm hoping to finish strong and have a decent month this month. Year to date, personally, I am at a 184.25% gain. The only reason I say that and cover what my percentage gain is, is I want you to know that triple digit gains are possible if you have great trading strategies. And so that's what I try to talk about in any stock that I talk about and any stock that is on this channel has a strategy behind it. Now, I am not a financial advisor. Of course, you need to do your own due diligence, but I am a stock trader that's had a lot of success by following the strategy and sticking to it. Before we get going in this video, if you could do me a favor and please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you haven't done so before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified when a new video comes out. In our description, we have a link to our Patreon group and the Patreon group is where you can find and see all of my buy and sell alerts on the insider swing play also the pdufa run-up play we also have different levels in there professional traders so on and so forth but that basic level i handle most of that and that is the insider swing play and pdufa run-up play and it's very well worth it for only 27 dollars a month in today's video i am going to give you three hot stocks that should do really well that are part of the insider swing play so you will want to stay till the end of the video to check it out all right well let's get going and let's start off by taking a quick look at what the market is doing it's so important to understand market trends when you're investing and understand where you're at i like to track the elliott wave if you have no idea what i'm talking about you might just do some research on that but uh, there's a five wave sequence and it, it happens over and over and over again in the stock market. And it can give you an idea of where we're heading and what type and when it's time to sell stock and hold cash and when it's time to go risk on. And right now is a risk on type of time. So let's take a look at it and see where we're going. So there's five waves. You have wave one that's very bullish, wave two that's a pullback, wave three that's bullish that is the longest. Wave four is always a pullback and then wave five. And then typically there are different types of corrections, but we just had a pretty typical ABC correction. So you can see this 50 SMA and you can see these pullbacks come to that SMA line pretty close. And then they start going moving upwards. Now that is not an exact rule. Of course, anything can happen in the stock market. And this is the SPY. This is the S&P 500 ETF of the top 500 companies. And then we had an ABC correction going down here. Well, what has happened here since we hit this bottom? Well, since we've hit this bottom, we have gone on a crazy little run, and this has been a really, really nice uh, last couple of weeks. Definitely things are looking really good, but uh, we should start to see a pullback, especially as this RSI gets overheated. We could see this pullback and go to a wave two, and then go forward on wave three, which is the longest wave, and so on and so forth. Now, that is why I track it. It just kind of gives me an idea. Okay, so where are we at? I'm always counting the waves. Uh, I'm not always right. Um, I don't always predict the things in the stock market, but this helps me to predict exactly what's going to happen in the future. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's get these top three stocks. Number three, and I have not talked about this stock for a while, but we are having and seeing insider activity on it again. This is Vox International, ticker symbol VOXX. This is an insider swing play. My personal price target for this is $14.50. Now, I just don't arbitrarily come up with $14.50. There is a reason and where I've been looking and what's been going on. And you can see here that there was a major rejection at $14.50 that almost happened twice. We had a double top here and then it came back down. But we have some positive things that are happening here, as you can see on the chart. One is we have a MACD Golden Cross down here. Uh, the other is the RSI is not overheated by any means. It's really good shape. And we just passed above. We passed above this directional SMA line and then we came back and we touched it again. 
And this is where I think it's going. I think it's going to march upwards. And why do I think that? Well, there's lots of insider activity also happening on this. Kali Holding has begun to load an open market. And they have a history of long-term buying of this particular stock. And uh, so I am expecting it to go up in price like it has in previous times with that insider activity this should be a this is a great entry in my opinion to get into this and this could be a great stock for you to make really good gains on all right let's go to get number two and number two is ticker symbol stsa this is an insider swing play my average in it is five dollars and 46 cents and you have not missed anything since i called this out it is right at even so it, it went up the first couple of days, now it came back. Now it's back at even again. So Commodore Capital is loading shares and they're doing so very aggressively. We've also passed the uh, directional SMA line. We are having a really nice move here and I'm expecting this to really continue. My price target for this is $6.35. I like it because this is where previous resistance was and I think we can hit through it. So we had to times a previous resistance there and so it's looking like it's going to go through that and i could i could see it going even higher especially as commodore capital continues to load they have been very regular in buying these insider transactions there's been quite a few of them and then different officers also have been loading shares and so this is uh very intriguing there may be news here i don't know if there's news obviously but there may be news and this might really, really move upwards. I'm definitely liking the insider activity. I think that as long as Commodore Capital is loading shares, you can feel pretty secure that this is not going to drop, that this is going to continue on its run. Anyway, looking really good. I hope it's a great stock pick for all of you. Let's go to number one. All right, number one is Petros Pharmaceutical, ticker symbol PTPI. This is an insider swing play. My average in it's $1.76 since calling this out. It is up 8.54%. My personal price target for this is $3.50 minimum, and I like this for a big move. And here's a couple reasons why. Juggernaut Partners has been loading shares, and it's been some really nice, uh, really nice insider buys. Also, uh, they have a presentation, and you're watching this video on Wednesday morning. If you're watching this on Wednesday, they on the 27th, they have a presentation at 2.40 Eastern. And um, there is a possibility that some sort of news is dropping here, especially with the insider activity. Typically, insider activity is the news before the news and looking for a big, big move. There could be something going on here. Uh, they do a lot of stuff with ED drugs and so on and so forth. And if they are finally releasing one or if they're going to a market or they could be uh, possibly even a buyout. And then of course, nothing can happen. And uh, you just got into a stock that had really good insider activity behind it. But I'm expecting this one to a uh, power through. It's kind of powered up and gone up beyond this SMA line. And now it's kind of pulled back and I'm expecting it to break through tomorrow. So hoping for a really good day on this. And I love the insider activity. There's a couple of areas of resistance that are going to be a little tough. One is right at 250. But I think that this is going to break through this, especially if there's news to announce uh, their, with their presentation tomorrow. It should be really good. I wish all of you the best on the stock market. If you have any questions, please reach out to me in the comment section down below. I will do best to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Wishing you all the best and Raytoven out.